Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk all things photography. Today we're talking about printed portfolios and more specifically the one that I've just had crafted and made for myself. So why get a printed portfolio? That's probably why you've ended up on this video or maybe you're just intrigued as to what my one looks like. For me, getting a printed portfolio, generally it surrounds this thinking of how I carry myself as a photographer. Every photographer has a website. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that. If someone wants to access that, then that's great. When I'm looking for clients, the majority of the time I try and go in and see them in person. And I don't want that experience of meeting to just be an extension of what they normally do, flicking through an iPad, flicking through a laptop. They, they both have great advantages. You can shoot something one day and present it to someone the next. And you can also sit your video work next to your uh, photography work. So that works out really nicely. Presenting a book is more about the experience and kind of how you carry yourself as a photographer. It shows that you've taken the time and care to craft the book, the layout, and you've taken into consideration all the different things like materials and how it flows and kind of the potential client's journey through your work. So for me, it was just that extra level of professionalism. At this stage of my career, I'm trying to source my clients through ad agencies and creative agencies. And especially the bigger creative agencies are kind of used to seeing photographers have books and they almost expect it. And if you get a few different creatives around the table and you have your book and they're all flicking through it and passing it around, it becomes a bit more of an enjoyable experience and hopefully that time, care and craft that you've put into your book comes across to them and they can hopefully realise that that will also come across in your work if they were to employ you or commission you for a certain project. So as you may or may not know, I'm based here in London and in London there is plenty of options for different bookmakers and bookbinders where you can go and have a chat to them, talk about the different ways you can present it. Uh, originally, a couple of years ago, I had a box made with loose prints. So I would open up the box, it was A3. The great thing about that was I didn't need to punch and score the pages because they weren't bound into the book. I could use pretty much any printer that I became familiar with and where I could rely on their quality. So it was a lot easier. But the disadvantage was sometimes you would go into a meeting and they wouldn't have a table. So you open up a book, they've got loose prints on their lap. It was really difficult. And uh, on more than one occasion, it was just, we just resorted to the, to the laptop. And that friction in a meeting is not something that you that you want to have, you want it to be fluid, you want it to be a nice experience. So hopefully this is what the bound book brings to my portfolio of my meetings. In the end, I went for a place in Clapham in South London called Mprint. They really specialize in double-sided prints. And with the book that I was getting crafted at Delta Design in North London, it's a bound book with sort of three punches through the middle and then the pages are scored so it flips over nicely. I'll link to uh, Delta Design where I got it made and Mprint if you want to check it out if you're thinking about doing your own thing. Both with Mprint and Delta I went in to see them. The guys at Mprint were, were brilliant. It really reminded me of going into those old specialist darkroom printers uh, fil or film printers where it's a, it's a process. It's not just plug your stick in and press print. The guys there are familiar with how colours will react to different printers. Uh, the, the gradients of some colours, he said, oh, this might prove tricky, and we kind of adjusted things uh, when needed to, to help get the most out of the prints. And one thing that amazed me were, was the vibrancy of the prints. You, you're so used to looking at things on a backlit screen or high quality screens that you think, well, when I print it, it's gonna look like a newspaper or a magazine or whatever. But when you go that extra mile for a little bit of extra quality when you see the prints in the flesh. It's pretty amazing how good they are. Really, I don't know how else to summarize it, yeah. So I was really pleased when I went to Mprint and got the prints. With Delta Design, Kathy Robert, I think it's pronounced up there. She's got a really good reputation and a lot of photographers in London go to her and a lot of people recommend her. I did go around different places. I went to Wyvern Bindery, who are based in Clerkenwell, I think. They did my box and they did a fantastic 
job of that. Yeah, I had a look at their bound books. They were a lot cheaper, but I just felt around the edges in particular of the book, it was a bit ragged. Um, and then when I went to see Delta Design, they kind of enclose everything a bit, bit better. And going back to what I said previously, if you're thinking about the sort of experience that the, your potential client's having in a meeting and also the care that you've taken crafting this book, if there's some raggedy edges and things, the whole process almost becomes redundant because people tend to latch on to negatives, don't they, instead of positives. So. For me, I just had to get everything as close to perfect as, as I felt I could. For the paper nerds out there, I got it on Hallimool Dual Rag 276 GSM. It's a matte finish. One of the things that I realized when I was presenting prints in my uh, portfolio box was with the gloss finish, even though they're not in sheets, which I really wanted to avoid because sheets can kind of catch the light and almost obscure your view and it interrupts that experience of viewing prints. So I got a bag made with it as well. Kathy up at uh, Delta does these as well. I think she uses a third party, like a, a bag maker. It's got my name stitched in there, which I kind of went back and forth about, but if someone else, in, on the occasion that someone else might be presenting your book for you, say if you've got an agent or something like that, if you don't have your name on the back, then people don't know what they're getting into when they come to your bag. So yes, we have it embossed on the front there, and then on the first page, which is black there, we have the, my name embossed again, just for that extra prestige. So like I say, this book is brand new and it went out in its first meeting yesterday. And just by chance, the client who I was having a discussion with is also a photographer. So they were really impressed with the quality of the prints and the paper. And I know that has nothing to do with the final images, but like I said in the first place, I feel like that whole experience, also how you present yourself, the care and time that you've put into making your book ties into the time and care that you will take, creating, crafting, and then delivering your images. So those little things make a big difference, you know, the, the, your potential client pining over the weight of the paper and just having that nice experience kind of makes it all worth it in the end. I hope this kind of gives you a little insight into how to print your book and why I printed my book and maybe it's helped you decide to print your book or not. I'll put as many useful links in the description below as I can. There's a great article on this on the Lisa Pritchard Agency blog. I'll put a link to it because she had, they have an Ask an Agent section where every month she answers one and there's definitely a question where she answered um, should I get a portfolio book or not? So as an extension to this, go check that out. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.